the thing about the Title 42 uh, border problem we have now, the Title 42 thing, which are, oh, it's now front center in the U.S. legislature. And of course, I had been down there in Grand Valley, and this one is very different part of the world, is that See, you, you cannot stop the massive number of refugees that Western civilization commits. These are refugees from NAFTA, or the from Latin America. Then there's the NAFTA part of Latin America, not the far south part, the NAFTA part of Latin And you can't find an excuse to stop them. You can't find an excuse to stop the refugees going into Europe from your NAFTA concerns in Ukraine. You can't stop the number of refugees that Western culture creates. You keep searching though. And, and if you can disconnect Title 42, and I'm not sure the details are not talking about the COVID thing, well, you just can go ahead and plan on massive waves of refugees for you in the next. But from this reading of Latin American people, well, go ahead and disconnect 42, because you'll, this is, this is expiring. Well, the legislative process was wonderful, but Go ahead and, and, and stand on the power of law and justice and constitutional issues and constitutional amendments and tile this, tile that, and just watch the refugees keep pouring in, pouring in, pouring in, and the horrible nightmare of rust belt that you created in the massive driven region of North America. See, you, 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 you stand on law and order, but you're watching your country be desecrated by humanity, washing up on the shores of democracy and numbers too many in the account. And your same refugees are watching you from Europe and your same exposed your same export in Ukraine. You see, that's what you started noticing. The massive refugees created by Western culture. Uh, uh, you see. Uh, it's insane.